The city of Atlanta will soon have a political newcomer serving as its council president. Doug Shipman is the winner over Natalie Archibong. Each of you at some point said that you were willing to take a chance on a first time candidate who had never run for political office, who is going up to folks who were very experienced, who started with name ID, we can tell them now, in the teens. <laughs> each of you took an act of faith and this night is because of each and every single one of you. Council President-elect Jug Chipman joining us in studio. Congratulations. Thank you. Not Thank much you. sleep, a lot to celebrate this That's morning. That's exactly right, but here we go. And it had been a busy campaign. You're a door knocker. You yeah. covered a lot of ground. It was conversation by conversation. Was that the game changer for you? Yeah, I think it was. I mean, you know, there is something to going to people's doors and front porches and talking with them. You know, I knocked on about 5,000 doors. Wow all over the city and you get to hear people's hopes and you get to hear their concerns and I think it pay, played a big role in last night. So you have talked about being a political newcomer, although you've been very active in, yeah. the, in the city with the Center for Civil and Human Rights and Woodruff Art Center. Um, but you're gonna join six other new council members and then a new mayor elect. You said you've worked with mayor elect Dickens before. Yeah. How do those dynamics come into play as the city faces some very serious real issues with crime among others? So I think that the election showed that folks really want some fresh ideas and some fresh leadership, um, some innovation, and also a way to bring people together. And so I think the first thing is to, to talk with all of the council members, both the ones coming back and the new folks, to say, what's your agenda? What have you heard from your districts, from your uh, campaigns? And then bringing a consensus together about the challenges we had. Everyone heard the challenges across every part of this city, around public safety, around how we're growing, around infrastructure. And so I think the council and Mayor-elect Dickens We've all heard the challenges, and now it'll be time to bring all that knowledge we have from the campaign, put an agenda forward. Yeah, solution time, mm -hmm. right? That's right. It was very interesting. In her concession speech, uh, Council President Felicia Moore, specifically the one issue she brought up was a message she said straight to Buckhead. Stay with the city. We're better together, mm -hmm. really speaking to Buckhead. I'm curious your thoughts on that issue. So I don't think that a Buckhead city solves the issues that Buckhead has raised. And I also think the issues that Buckhead has raised are the same ones I heard all over the city. Public safety, how we're growing, city services. And so yes, absolutely, Buckhead is not only better as part of the city and the city better, but we're gonna be able to solve the issues Buckhead has as an approach to the entire city much better than on its own. And so I look forward to working on those issues very, very quickly. And I think that there is a desire across the whole city to actually address those issues. When you see the landscape, is there something that stands out to you saying, this is where my focus is day one? I think it's really uh, focusing on having people feel like they have access to the city. I think they really want the city to be responsive and when they call, they want folks to respond to their needs. And so to me, it's about building bridges between neighborhoods and the city so that folks trust that the city is actually gonna deliver and that folks also wanna work. I think there's gonna be a real desire for, ci for citizens and for residents to really also help with solving the problems that we know we have. Council President-elect Doug Shipman and you can find more results from the runoff on 11alive.com slash